हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मिजर स्टडी एंड वेलकम टू माय क्लास टुडे माय टॉपिक इज थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड थर्मोकेमिस्ट्री आई विल डिस्कस द एंटायर चैप्टर विद इन क्विक इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम इन अ क्विक इंटरवल ओके सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर दैट इज थर्मो डायनामिक्स एंड थर्मो chemistry thermodynamics and thermochemistry okay it is also known as chemical energetics the topic is also known as chemical energetics is it clear yes thermodynamics and thermochemistry okay what is thermodynamics do you have any idea yes sir we know the branch of chemistry which deals the transfer or exchange of heat that is movement of heat movement or better to write flow of heat or energy what i'm telling that is it consider the flow of heat from one to another or from another to one clear for discussing thermodynamics or thermochemistry we need three things system surroundings and wall what is system which is taken under observation is treated as a inverse and outside the system all are treated as surroundings for example suppose this is a universe suppose this is a classroom and we are right now we are discussing the topic thermodynamics but outside the classroom people student may learn physics may learn english may learn another chapter so this entire uh, classroom we are obeying a certain uh, book we are obeying a certain rule and i am a teacher so this is treated as a system and outside this classroom the surrounding so system may be small may be big earth is a system except earth all other uh, planet are treated as a surroundings india is a system except india rest of the uh, rest countries are called uh, are treated as surrounding your school is a system and your un uniform uh, in the same school same uniform but outside your school people may bear any uh, type of clothes are treated as a surrounding which is taken under um, investigation which is taken under investigation is treated as a system this is suppose this is a system outside the system outside the system this is this is surroundings so universe equal to system plus surroundings clear again i am repeating system plus surroundings now and the wall which separate system and surrounding this is surrounding the wall which separate system and surrounding are treated as uh, a wall or boundary boundary may be uh, conducting or may be non conducting that is wall or boundary wall or boundary of a system it may be conducting or may not be conducting conducting or non conducting that is it may be diathermic wall or adia vetic wall clear to you yes now the thing is system we have basically three types type of system open system if there is a exchange of heat and mass with the surrounding uh, between surrounding and system take place it is known as open system that is uh, tea in a cup second that is closed system that is in which only the exchange of uh, energy take place not mass is known as closed system third one is isolated system neither mass nor energy exchange 
take place between system and surrounding are treated as a isolated system. Clear? Yes. Now, except these two more systems are there that is homogeneous system. Yes. And the second one is heterogeneous system. Again, I am repeating homogeneous and heterogeneous system. That is system which have uniform composition throughout and the system which are non-uniform composition throughout and treated as a heterogeneous system. Now, now thermodynamic properties. We have two thermodynamic basical properties that is extensive properties extensive properties and the second one is intensive properties. Those properties which depend upon the quantity, quantity or matter that is called depend on quantity or you can say amount are treated as extensive properties. Are treated as extensive properties. Those properties which does not depend upon quantity of the substance are treated as intensive property. For example, if I take melting point, boiling point, if I take 1 liter water or 2 liter water, the boiling point of water does not change. That is boiling point of water does not depend upon the quantity whether it is 1 liter, 2 liter, 3 liter, 5 liter and 10 liter. Clear? Uh, melting point, uh, boiling point, pressure, density, molarity, clear to you, etc. These all are the intensive property, extensive property for example, mass, volume, clear. Now then entropy, enthalpy, clear, free energy, these all are extensive property because they depend on the quantity. Now the thing is, Suppose X is an intensive property and Y is an intensive property. When we add two intensive property, we get intensive property. When we divide two intensive property, we get intensive property. When we multiply two intensive property, we get intensive property. Clear to you? But in case of extensive property, it changes. When we, I am writing here, when we add two in extensive property, when we add two extensive property, we get extensive property, clear. But when we divide, when we divide two extensive property, this is extensive, this is extensive, it gives you intensive property. This is the important thing and there is a question from competitive examination. For example, pressure, we know force upon area force depend f is equal to ma depend upon quantity so this is extensive property and this is extensive property but division that is x upon y gives you intensive property force pressure force per unit area is no is extens intensive property not extensive so if x is ext inten extensive property and y is extensive property division of division of two extensive property gives you intensive property these are the thing now we have a moving here Clear to you? Yes, sir. Now, we have two, uh, uh, we have various parameter, we decide the uh, 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 state of a system. These are called thermodynamic parameter. For example, pressure, temperature, volume, clear? These all are like enthalpy, free energy, these all are, uh, we decide the state of a system. These all are called thermodynamic parameter. Now, we have, now, we have thermodynamic process, you know, yes sir, thermodynamic process, thermodynamic processes, yes. Now, first one we have isothermal process, okay. First, we have isothermal process. Second, we have adiabatic process. Yes, sir. Third, we have isobaric process. Is it clear to you? Yes. Fourth, we have isochoric process. 
and the fifth we have cyclic process except this we have two more process yes sir first one is reversible process yes the second one is irreversible process clear to you yes isothermal process the process which is carried out at constant temperature that is when t is constant that is delta t is equal to 0 are called isothermal process the process which is carried out at constant heat change that is dq is equal to 0 or q is equal to we will say that is constant is called adiabatic process clear to you now isobaric the process which is carried out at constant pressure p is constant that is del dp or delta p is equal to 0 clear to you isochoric process the process which is carried out at constant volume that is volume is constant or we will say dv is equal to 0 cyclic process the process which start from suppose start from a after many other process again it return to the same position that this process is known as cyclic process in case of cyclic process that is the total internal energy change delta is always equal to 0 clear to you now reversible process the process which can be reversed suppose a can form b b can also form a this is reversible process and uh, in chemical equilibrium we generally treat reversible process clear to you the process which can be reversed are treated as a reversible process the process which cannot be reversed that is known as irreversible process suppose a gives b but b cannot that is the reverse is not possible or no treated as irreversible process there are many physical or chemical changes are there which may be reversed or which may not be reversed clear to you yes sir now now the next one i am going to discuss here that is internal energy the total of all possible kind of energy present in a system present in a body that is internal energy what I am telling the total of all possible it can be represented by U or E. The total of all possible kind of energy present in a body is known as internal energy that is delta U or delta E is equal to U2 minus U1. If U2 is greater than U1 then delta U is positive. If U2 is less than u1 then delta u is negative that internal energy of a system may be negative or may be positive now now there comes work thermodynamic work work and heat change okay we know work is equal to as per the physics f into dx clear to you yes force pressure is equal to force upon area f into a so f is equal to pa yes so w is equal to we can write pa into dx this is the change in volume so w is equal to we can write p dv or p delta v p dv or p delta v clear to you the standard form of work done here that is w is equal to minus p external delta v is it clear this is the standard form p external into delta v or dw is equal to p dv it is up to u clear to you minus p dv clear now delta w is equal to v2 minus v1 clear now if if v2 is greater than v1 that is in case of expansion in case of expansion that is work done work done by the system then what if v2 is greater than v1 then what we are getting that is w comes negative so work done by the system i am not teaching physics this is chemistry may sign changes okay work done by the system that is uh, or in case of expansion work done comes negative but if v2 is less than v1 what happen that is work done come positive that is in case of compression or you will say work done on the system again i am repeating work done on the systems comes positive is it clear to you yes so uh, again q now heat heat energy we know q is equal to ms delta theta m s delta theta theta is temperature change that is if heat is given to the system then it is positive 
if heat is released from the system then q is negative clear to you these are the thing and the unit of work or q is generally joule and heat we also treat calorie also calorie also clear to you for heat we can uh, um, treat calorie also these are the few things we, i have discussed during my lecture now the thing is enthalpy what is enthalpy heat content that is as we know h is equal to u plus pv clear delta h is equal to delta u plus p delta v and we know uh, pv is equal to rt so delta is equal to r delta t or the general formula we have delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ngrt that is a direct formula i cannot drive right now delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ngrt that is heat at constant pressure okay this is heat at constant volume is it clear to you and delta ng delta ng is equal to n2 minus n1 number of moles of gaseous product gaseous product minus number of moles of gaseous reactant and maximum number of questions are asked from this formula it will help you a lot clear to you yes so my friend memorize these things definitely help you a lot in my next lecture i will continue i will provide few more formula till then bye bye thank you so much